Hi guys, it's Mommy Tang. What's up, Tang Gang? So you guys know I'm on a diet, right? Yeah, this is my second day in. I really like it, I love it. I love the way I feel in the morning. And I feel so much lighter. I don't feel like, you know what I mean? And um, I don't know if you guys follow me on Snapchat, but I do throw in a little bit of encouragement on my Snapchat for you, you know, while I work out and stuff like that. If you saw my video till the end, you'll see. Like, I just want to make something clear, okay? When you go on a diet, any sort of diet, right? You just have to remember what you did day before and try to repeat it. That's pretty much it, you know what I mean? Let's say you did really good for a week and then like one day you, you know, you mess up, they just remember couple days before what you did and just try to repeat that's pretty much it so if you are expecting some crazy recipe on my what I eat in a day my mukbang diet diary you're not gonna get it because it's simple same thing repeating kind of over and over again kind of thing so today um, I'm going to share with you a recipe so easy not Asian but <laughs> because I'll be eating kimchi I guess it's Asian but the recipe itself is not Asian it's just not really cooking involved really this is I think great for college students and I think already a lot of people do this already I've seen a lot of people do this and uh, it's one of those but I just figured that I share with you now when I go on a diet I guess the most important thing I think of is water I try to drink as much water as I can With that spilling water, get yourself a bowl, a big bowl of rice, okay? Rice is the one that it's going to fill you up, make you happy, and of course, you know, if you just eat vegetable like during your diet, you're just going to be really hungry all the time, and you're not going to be happy. You know, so it's important that you get your rice, some sort of carb, potato. I like rice, so I just do rice diet, I guess. Remember the key to my diet? Green. Okay, you gotta eat lots of lots of green, okay? The color that you want to aim for on this diet is pretty much green, okay? And... Obviously, if you're following, you could see what I eat during the day, but pretty much I eat green all day, you know, but um, a whole head of lettuce. You know what? It, it's funny about greens, you know? If you, while you eat them, you think you're not going to get full, but greens do make you full. Like if you eat just rice without green, you'll get hungry later again. But if you eat your rice with greens, you stay full longer. I have no idea why. Some frozen peas, you could um, just wash it in warm water or cold water, whatever. It's frozen ones, you know, or the canned ones. I guess canned is good too. Again, some frozen corn. You could use frozen, see look there. You could use frozen corn. You could just wash over the sink. Yes. Look how nice this looks, guys. It looks amazing. Now, you could put any pasta sauce, but if you're on a diet, really, you try to stay, you have to try to stay away from eating so much fat, you know? I mean, fat is good for you, and fat makes you happy. Fat is not bad for you. But thing is, if you eat too much fat, you're going to get fat, you know? So there are sauce out there that you could get, like this one. That are fat-free, like there's no oil added in this one, no sodium added, no sugar added. So it's very just pretty much um, very clean sauce, you know what I mean? So you just put, I don't even cook it really, because this comes cooked already, I mean. You know, as, as much as you want. And just store that in the refrigerator. You could eat it the next day, whatever. Of course, we can't forget about sriracha. Sriracha makes everything taste good, I think. You know, especially, especially, you know, a dish like this. 
Are we ready for the food porn? Are you ready to eat? All you have to do is just like mix it, like almost like bibimbap, I guess, you know? And that's your meal. Yeah. Some, of my, some people might find this kind of like, what in the world? But it's good, okay? Oh. Some too. Mm. <laughs> no cooking involved, but it's so good. Let's see how. Peppy things. Let's see what Peppy thinks of this. What do you think, Peppy? Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. Like it? It's a little bit spicy. A little bit spicy? Mm hmm Yeah. But it's good, right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Mom, mm -hmm. it's inside. Mmm. Mommy, Mom and Dad. Mommy. Mm. What's that? Mmm. 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 I've seen like three or four um, pasta sauces that had no sodium, no added oils. Mm. Did you guys miss me eating mother in law's kimchi? The kimchi stink, you know? The kimchi. Oh. Stinky, stinky, but good. Mm. Wow. Oh. Mm. When you eat this, you're going to be so satisfied. I guarantee. But it's a diet food. Mm. What's your mind? Here. It's so spicy. It's okay. It's mm. spicy. Good, right? Mm hmm But do you need to spice it a little bit? Peppy does wear pajama all day. Yeah. If you don't go anywhere, she just wear pajama all day. You want to skip tea? Mm-hmm. Is it good, Peppita? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's good. Mm-hmm. A lot of times, people have a hard time eating salad because because it's just too green or it's too veggie tasting or hmm. Mommy, mommy. Hmm. Too raw, but by putting a little bit of rice and a little bit of um, cooked pasta sauce.
You know, people comment on my video and say, Oh, Mommy Tang, you make everything look so good. I'm telling you, everything I eat is good. I'm not gonna just lie to you guys and just act like this is good when it's not good, you know? I'll tell you. Mm. When people want to diet, they do like no sodium diet, no oil diet, no cooked food diet. I'm talking about vegans, you know? I mean, Now you take away meat from your diet, your dairy from diet already took a lot away from your diet, you know? But from what you're used to, obviously unless you're born vegan, but you already took away so much. And on top of that, you want to take away more? I couldn't do it. I wasn't happy. Probably the only thing that I try to stay away from our chemicals, you know? Chemicals are something that we don't need, but I mean, some junk food, they have chemicals in them, you know? And I mean, the world that we live in, it's impossible to live without anything chemical, you know what I mean? Mm. Some food actually tastes amazing with chemicals. I'm sorry, but some do, you know? So, when I go on diet, that's pretty much what I do. I try to stay away from chemicals and just eat, you know, just natural food, whole food. And if I have to eat processed food once in a while, then I do. If you could eat everything whole food, then good for you. You know, that's amazing. Not many people can do that. Mm. I'm gonna cut it. People talk about, let me think, do you count calories? If you're overweight and you have no idea how food works, then you need to do some research. Meaning, you need to know what fat does for you, you need to know what protein does for you, you need to know what carb does for you. And it's good to know how much calorie you basically need to survive, you know? Obviously, you're getting big because you're overeating. So let's say a person, for me, they say if I need to maintain my weight, they say I need about 2,000 calories. That's what they say. So calories in, calories out, you know? A lot of people, when they go on diet, they do, um, they cut back on their calories. Like, let's say if I need 2,000, then I eat like, um, you know, 1400 and take away, you know what I mean? And somehow 600, you eat less or you burn it off or something, you would do workout, whatever. So you, you're always on a deficit of your calorie and that's how you lose weight. And yes, it works. Yes, it does. But I went mental. I went crazy count, counting calories. Food did not look food to me. It looked like numbers. 140. 740. You know what I mean? It was numbers. I could enjoy my food. Everything you eat. You know?
but it's good to know what food has how much calories it's good to know what food has how much fat in them you know it's good to know so when you eat it you're aware of what you're eating but I'm going crazy counting you know it's good to know that there are stars in the sky a lot of a lot of stars in the sky today oh there's only a few you know sky, stars in the sky today it's good to know but you're not going to be counting every star in the sky So, study your body and see what is good amount and what is not good for you. Like, I'm just talking a lot about diet these days because that's what I'm doing, you know, diet. I'm just sharing what I know and what I think I know. That doesn't mean that it's right, but... You know, what I, what I think about diet, I'm just sharing with you, and the more healthier, the more whole food based, the more less, the less processed food you eat, you could eat more. I'm like, this is big, right? Now I'm already like getting kind of satisfied, not full, but satisfied, you know? If I were to eat this much food, and it was all, um, let's say, French fries, like big, look how big this is, okay? Let's say I ate this much of French fries. That's a lot of calorie you're e calories you're eating in one setting. No? Or like fried food or something like that. You have to know your food. Like, you have to know what's healthy, what's not, what has a lot of calorie what doesn't you know you just have to know the basics and I want to talk about this this is very important too a lot of people nowadays watch YouTube for diet advices you know I did too and they always say this is how I eat and this is how I maintain my weight you know a lot of a lot of people do that right Thing is, there are two types of people on a diet. Okay, when I say diet, a lot of people for some reason think diet is what you do to lose weight. Diet is in my in my brain. Diet just means how you eat, your lifestyle. You know? Clean diet, you know, junk food diet, they're all diet. But I want you to really think about this, okay? Think think about what I'm about to say. Think what I'm about to say, okay? Tell me if this doesn't if this makes sense to you. Okay, and tell me if it doesn't. A lot of people follow. A lot of people follow people on YouTube, right? And but thing is, they don't know. They're missing this huge point. How was their diet before they start eating this way? Remember, I told you there are two types of people. One, people that are overweight, obviously they're overweight because they can't stop when they're full. And they can't stand the feeling of hunger. They just can't. So they're always stuffing something into their mouth to get full. The feeling of feeling full. You know what I mean? It doesn't click in their in their in their um It doesn't click off. It's almost like the switch is broken. 
you know? So you overeat, you just eat and eat and eat and you're full, but you, you still eat and eat and eat and this is how you gain weight. Then, another type of people, they're so good at coping with hunger. You know, a lot of anorexic people are like that, you know what I mean? They can't stand being full. They like the hunger. They like feeling hungry. They enjoy being hungry almost like, well, I don't think they enjoy it, but you know what I mean? It's like they, they can't, they can't, they, they had the hunger pain, but they, they have to, they know how to endure it. Yeah? So now they fixed their problem, let's say, and they became a finished product. And they're on YouTube telling people, hey, this is what I eat, follow my diet kind of thing. You know what I mean? But if you're overweight, you can't be getting advice from somebody that used to be very, very skinny and now they're in their finished products because But they're teaching you kind of, they're showing you how to overcome this problem of not eating. You know what I mean? A lot of many people realize that. Like they don't know what, they, what their past used to be and then they just follow this person's diet right now as if that's gonna work for you. It's not going to because if you used to be overweight, trying to lose weight, you need to learn from somebody that used to be overweight and then they fought all this battle to get to where they are. You need to ask them and get more information from them, not other way around. Not from somebody that used to starve and they're now eating and getting information from that person. So you really need to know where they come from. You know what I mean? Does it make sense to you? I'm sorry, you know how I can't explain things well? <laughs> People forget that. Oh, this person has lovely diet. Oh, I'm gonna do their diet and get skinny like them. But you see their before picture, they're always skinny. They were never fat, you know? How's that gonna help you? What about you, Mami Tang? What were you? I was never skinny. I was more like a skinny fat person. I was tiny, never have, didn't have that much muscle. Smaller, ate whatever I wanted. When I got pregnant, I started gaining weight. And I did many, many diets, but this is a diet that I feel so good at. I feel good when I do this kind of diet. Eat healthy. Eat pretty much whatever you want without eating meat. When I used to be bigger, some people, you know, like I, I, I have friends that who are skinny. They're very skinny, and I, I, and I hang around with them sometimes. The reason they're skinny is because they eat little. I'm sorry, that's just a fact, you know. Like, 
I hardly like oh okay on YouTube some mukbangers and some rare cases you see people with really fast metabolism they eat very little uh, they eat a lot and they're always skinny yeah you, you see some people like that but most of people that I am around that are skinny they eat little that's why they're skinny I love feeling I love feeling full you know what I mean I like to eat something and I'm like oh I am so full I like that feeling that's why I needed to find some diet that makes me feel like that every time I eat but still makes me you know because if I were to eat just any food I eat like fried let's say if I were to eat fried chicken and hot dogs and like not vegan food if I was were eating like cheese and you know what I mean bacon and with rice and with all this stuff I would be very big I, I know myself I would be big for dessert oh, I deserve a dessert you know what I mean this was such a clean meal I deserve a dessert <laughs> I have a silk yogurt very free of course this peach mango and strawberry i'm going to close my eyes and i'm going to shuffle uh and i gotta talk about something because i forget which one was which you know what i mean because sometimes like i remember i already forgot which one was which okay so i'm gonna pick this one let's see ah, peach and mango yeah so this is a this is a wonderful thing about my diet that you could eat stuff like this mommy wait but mommy think do you really lose weight? Of course I do! <laughs> <laughs> Don't waste it. Don't ever waste. I want some mommy. That's the best part. I want some. This is actually, I've never tried this brand before. Mmm. Good. Are you good? Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, guys. I forgot how yogurt tastes like. <laughs> I yeah. can't remember, but this is good. Mm. Mm. I don't think I could eat a regular yogurt now. Just the, the 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 raunchiness of the milk. Like if you're vegan for I I told this before, but when you go vegan, right, for a long time, there are certain things that you just your 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 taste but just won't allow it. As soon as you put it in your mommy, mouth, mommy, your body will reject you like, whoa! Get that thing out of me kind of thing, you know? And milk is definitely one of them for me. Mm-hmm. Should I press the mine? Mm -hmm. Should I press the mine? Mm -hmm. Cause it's... You gotta call Jaden because he's doing... He's out doing Pokemon. He's doing Pokemon? He's out doing Pokemon. Okay. Yeah. My son is so oh, obsessed with Pokemon. This Pokemon catch, whatever they do. Oh, Every time they're in the car, I'm like, Mom, Mom, stop, stop! I gotta catch the Pokemon! We actually, I actually drove around town the other day, my neighborhood, so he could catch some Pokemon. And it was so funny because there was a whole group of teenager boys, like, I don't know, like eight or nine of them. They all had their phone and we could totally tell they were doing Pokemon. So my son, I so roll out the window, they were like, Pokemon roll! And they were like, yeah, yeah, yeah! Mommy, what's this one? And then we're driving by again, then we saw the group of teenager boys again. My son was like, Pokemon Raw! And they're like, yeah, yeah, yeah! Like almost like Mommy. almost like crazy Pokemon, these Pokemon things, if you know what I'm talking about. It's an app that you do on the phone and you, you go to places and you spin and then they catch Pokemon. You know what I'm talking about. Ooh. And, like, and, ooh, and my son is like, you should definitely play the Pokemon Mom. That's this is mine, yo. Teach them when they're young. You know what I mean? Pepita, you love it? Mm -hmm. Can I get a lick? Mm-hmm. Good? Mmm. 
I wasn't planning to eat this one, you know, but she opened it. I think it's for her, but let me, let me try it. Let me just try it. Okay. Mmm. I definitely like this one better. Silk and dairy. I like this one too. I feel like, I like this one too. strawberry has a little bit, a little bit of um, non-dairy flavor, if you know what I mean, you know? I I the, the peach and mango it was like I couldn't even tell it was not you know what I mean like sometimes I'm not gonna lie to you sometimes the the vegan stuff they, they do taste a little bit like vegan at the end of the end of whatever you know what I mean like the at the end when you chew everything and you swallow it right before you swallow you you, you taste the vegan you know what I mean I hope you know what I mean. It sounds crazy right now. But anyway, so uh, I hope you enjoy my um, mukbang diet diary. So, is anybody really gonna follow my diet like with me? I I read some comments and say, "Mommy Tang, I'm gonna follow your diet, whatever, with you." You know, I guess you could start like a, a day behind me and then just follow like my previous um, diet, I guess. What I ate the day before and then you could just follow. But I mean, it's not even like about follow my diet to the T, but it's pretty much simple. Eat healthy, remember? In the morning, eat whatever you want. Cleaner bigger the portion, dirtier the smaller the portion. For dinner, eat light. After dinner, don't eat anything. There's a piece of fly going around here. I don't know, I'm one of those, I guess, bad vegans that like it's, you know what I mean? We're supposed to be like, we love animals, we love all beings, but like flies and stuff like that, they bother me. Like almost up to a point where I was just wanna, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just being honest. Um, yeah, and make sure you work out at least three or four times a week. You want to sweat it out. Salt, chemicals, whatever you have in your system, sweat it out. You know what I mean? And don't forget, strength training, very important. Especially if you're getting older, strength training is very, very important. So do that. And somebody also said, thank you, you know who you are. Get rest, you know. Drink lots of water and all that stuff. So yeah, pretty much that's it and you're on your way. I'll see you later. Oh. My mom hates it when I do that. She thinks it's so rude. No more, I need. Okay, 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 okay. Before I go, before I go today, a lot of my Korean viewers, I have a little bit of Korean viewers, and they always do a request, say, Mommy Tang, can you speak some Korean? We want to hear you speak Korean. Uh, Where? Uh, Where? 왜? 너는 맨날 이렇게 엄마를 부르고 그래. 뭐, 뭐 줄까? 한국 음식이 너무 맛있잖아요. 응? 근데 왜 모든 사람들이 한국 음식을 안 먹을까요? 너무 궁금하지 않아요? 난 세상에서 이렇게 맛있는 음식은 처음 먹어보거든요. 와. 학기사 뭐 태어날 때부터 먹었으니까 잘 모르겠는데 가끔 이런 생각은 해요. 어, 한국 음식을 한 번도 안 먹어보고 돌아가시는 분들은 어, 너무 안타까웠다. 그런 생각을 좀할 때도 있어요. 어? 또 하나 궁금한 건 저를 보시는 한국 분들은 미국에 사시는 분들일까요? 한국에 사시는 분들일까요? 그것도 가끔씩 궁금해 하고요. 한국말로 먹방을 하나 시작하면 어떤 분위기가 될지 그것도 궁금합니다. 
어떤 거는 한국말로 생각하고 어떤 걸로는 영어로도 생각하거든요 제 머리는 조금 조금 복잡해요 <웃음> 근데 한국말로 생각하는 거는 기도할 때나 뭐 어, 엄마한테 얘기할 때나 심각하게 무슨 생각을 할 때나 이럴 때는 한국말로 생각을 하지만 그냥 애들이랑 놀고 먹고 자고 이런 거는 영어로 생각하거든요 제가 조금 <웃음> 이럴 때가 많아요 한국말로 하면 조금 심각해지지 않을까요 내 비디오가 좀 그럴 수 있을 것 같은데 음. 여기까지 오늘은 여기까지 <웃음> 한국말 하시는 것더 원하시면 여기 아래다가 댓글 달아주시면 제가 또 한번 한국말 해드리겠습니다. 지금 말할 때는 괜찮은데 이따가 이거 에리링 에리링 할 에리링을 한국말로 모르겠어요. 에리링 할때 되게 이상할 것 같아요. 어나 이거 맞지 않았어. 왜 저는 물을 마실 때 이렇게 질질 흘릴까요? <웃음> 참 이상하네요. 네, 안녕히 계세요. 안녕히 가세요. 수고하세요. 안녕히 가세요. 또 오세요. 음, 다 이상하게 들리는데. 뭐라고 얘기해야 되지? 안녕히 가십시오. 또 만납시다. 좋은 하루 보내세요. 빠이빠이. <웃음> 그 중에 하나 고르셔서 가시기를 바랍니다. 안녕.